I'm Aubrey, and recently invited three new crew members to join me on an offshore adventure on my 51 Formosa. We're headed from Los Angeles to Mexico. Joy, Doug, and also Daryl from Precision Sales. I'm Aubrey, and over the past seven years, I've been living on a sailboat. Not this sailboat. This sailboat is a 1977 Formosa 51. Her name is Houdini and some of us call her the pirate ship. This is the boat that I'd like to circumnavigate. This week, I try to tackle yet another problem with my new lithium battery bank in Marina del Rey before we slip the lines and hightail it towards Mexico. Now I'm in the hole. Last time you saw someone in this hole, it was Cyril. Uh, we just plugged, or I just plugged in my phone right here and Joy smelled electrical burning like we came down and it was really smelling like it was burning. So we shut the main power off at the Perco and then um, all of the switches here, the main switches for DC power and AC power. So now we're looking for anything that looks burnt. I don't know electrical that well and I feel really uncomfortable right now with the burning smell that we had and trying to troubleshoot what this is. So. Um, wish us luck. You see anything burnt back there? No. I think it's okay in the back. I would start by checking the wire. You know, I'm not getting any anything anywhere. So. What is okay, I'm gonna turn that. I'm actually gonna turn this DC off. And then turn this on. Okay. What is that? I'm a little stuffed up, Joy. <clears throat> do you smell anything? Yeah, I do. I don't know. I can't tell what it is, though. Get in here, then, because I don't know smell. I don't smell it in here, though. I think it's coming from the inverter. Off. After troubleshooting for hours, we found a burnt 110 plug and changed it. I still don't know the cause, and I'll be hiring a proper electrician when I cross the border. All right, we are up. the next morning and following a frustrating fix we're ready to go okay <clears throat> little last minute fix we're gonna throw some screws back here in the uh, aft port lights because we don't have any in which is a little bit scary and dangerous with following seas so I'm gonna pre-drill here and then hand drill these silica bronze screws in let's do it This is the best captain around. Oh. You should have seen that docking. It was <laughs> unbelievable. It docks itself. I know. I think there must be a joystick somewhere. Uh. Anyways, we're off. We're heading out of Marina del Rey and uh, off to Mexico. It's really happening. Houdini is finally going to cross the border into Mexico soon. I am so proud of all the work we've done to get her to this point. Thank you so much to all of you that helped along the way, making this achievement a possibility. With Marina Del Rey in the rear view, I'm looking forward to getting some good wind today. First things first, coffee. Look at how exciting this is. We just hoisted the new head sail. The wind fills in and we hoist the sails. I am still in a little disbelief, but brimming with joy and filled with pride in this moment. This has been my most complicated restoration to date. I have not yet flown the mainsail as the reefing lines have not been set up yet. This is the perfect opportunity for a rigging lesson 
because I have both the sailmaker, Daryl from Precision, and Joy, an experienced racer who has assisted in rigging boats for years. Today I have the dream team. We get the mainsail hoisted and begin to adjust the reefing lines. Soon we're confident we're ready to reef if it gets sporty out. But for now, the wind is still light. We got problems. Big problems? Not big problems, but we're just, we can't get the lift pump to pull into these two bowls where the filters are. Okay. And so we're about to phone a friend, Andy Keenan. But we're gonna, we're gonna mess around with this pumping dry right now and we're not really sure why. Okay. Stress level? Uh, two. Two, that's I think good. We're sailing, right? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so what are you doing right now? I am just emptying out this uh, the bowl here for the pet cock. Okay. And look, this is there's so much gunk in here. It's not even the pet cock's not even wanting to let this out. It's gunky. It's a little dirty. Yep, yeah, a little dirty. that to run out. That sounds better now. There we go. There we go. You think it was an airlock in that? Might have been. Yep, there we go. Okay, Cap, how are you feeling right now? Good. It's transferring, right? Let's trans. Well, no, we're not transferring right now. We uh, we got a, a fuel filter alarm. The system is really cool. This is the Keenan fuel filter system. So we've got two fuel filters set up. So when we're underway and one of the filters clogs, you can see this one's really dirty. So we went ahead and changed both of them. Uh, but you can switch from the helm so that you don't lose uh, power while underway. But what we did was we decided to wait a few minutes, let the engine run, and it did die. So um, after the Keenan filter went off, uh, we had what about 10 minutes would you say yeah yeah about 10 minutes before we lost power so um now the question is do are we going to need to bleed the line so hit the pump again so okay it, that's normal because what it's doing is there's nowhere for it to go on the other end so it's i'm forever learning which is one of the things i love about living on a sailboat okay. ready to try it cap yep Wash my hands really quick. Oh, not great. Is that Eek, my hairless cat, loves making his snuggle rounds. We prepare to hoist the mainsail again. Okay, that's it. We got the first reef point in successfully. We haven't reefed the boat properly and the line was just a little long on the forward edge of the sail. So uh, one more task while we're out here to get ready is 
I just want to move the Genoa track pin back a little bit. Um, it's just, we're pulling on the leech a little too far and we want to be pulling on the, the foot a bit. It's just not set up quite right for the sail. So I've already done the starboard side and I'm just going to move the port side back. Uh, I know there's no wind, but we'll get her done. Get her done now while we can. I move that back. I'm just gonna pull this up, thread it through, and then run it all the way back to the winch. So I'm gonna do that just now. So you can still stand there and access it. But yeah, I'm gonna ease it out as soon as you get past the lazy jack. I could probably hold it now. Yeah, I'll ease the... Yeah, you're almost... That's the end of that one. Okay. They coming? Right oh yeah, here they come. Yeah, so you guys started talking oh, about yeah, blowjobs. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey guys! bottlenose. They've got that too. You know the lines that go? Yeah. Those little squigglies. Little or squigglies, that's a scientific term. Pacific white-sided dolphins. Oh, or Maybe. that. Or that. Fancy. I thought they were <laughs> bottlenose, but what do I know? Okay. Don't fall in out of excitement now, Dougie. <laughs> the dolphins join us right on time. Good job, underwater. As the sun sets, we all get ready for our watch schedules, but first we enjoy this beautiful show of color on the horizon. gonna get less
caption. You did? <laughs> I did not, but I almost did. Oh my god, that's, that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, fell out of my pocket. <laughs> it's okay. Doug and I will share a phone. <laughs> Outside of the drum? Yeah, it sure is. Okay. Hey, Joy. Oh, watch this guy. <laughs> I'm glad we're messing around with that while it's. The furling line has jumped from the drum, fouling, and we discover we need to adjust the feed angle of the line. This is when there's the most wildlife. How many whales did you see? How many whales? Uh huh. Oh. Like six? At least. Over the day. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get much prettier than that, huh? Look at that. <laughs> we got more joining us here. They're gonna come up on the bow, probably. Woo wee! They come show off. I want to see them swim through bioluminescence. Have you seen that before? Oh, yeah. I've never seen it. It's on my bucket list. So Fantasia cool. torpedoes. Anything for Right? Are they down there? So we've missed our 1 a.m. notary after we lost the wind. We're now going into San Diego. We're going to drop Joy off and then we're gonna go get some paperwork done. Uh, we have a booking at a notary at 1 in the morning or 1.30 in the morning and we're going to try and get down to Ensenada uh, by late morning, mid-afternoon. So that means we have to get in and get out. We learned en route that we were missing an important document. 
that needs to be notarized before entering Mexico. <laughs> One time it took us nine days to get to San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned to find out if we're able to get the proper documents to finally enter Mexico. Thank you so much for watching. If you can't wait until next week, go to my website. You have I'll see you next week on Sailing Slumstar. Do you feel like you're the captain by sitting on that seat? I wake up feeling like there's a captain. <laughs> we had a surprise thunderstorm. <laughs> so much cheaper than a parrot. Ow! Again. You started? <laughs> well, can I join the band? <laughs> ah! That's in my fans! <laughs>